Hello everyone, no respawns, hope you're doing well. So in this video I'm making my war rig or battle bus 2.0, you can call it either either or. I decided to name this one war rig because when I did the battle bus video everyone called it a war rig. So now you can all call it a battle bus or a war rig, whatever you like. But I'm quite pleased with this. So this video is quite heavily edited because it took, I think it was well over an hour's worth of footage. So what I've done, because I kind of... Do the same thing on each side you'll notice I actually basically just show you half of what I do because the other half is just repetition you you'll get it when you see it um, but it's quite cool it's quite cool the reason why I want to do this because I hadn't done the battle bus since that was a, a pre-mod those of you remember it's one of my most popular videos and um, one of my most, well yeah no I think it is one of the most popular videos and um it's really cool I absolutely love it but it was a pre-mod one now this one I like it it's very crisp and I had to kind of control myself not to go too, because it, it's quite tight. I also like the method I've done here of actually making the base, extending it with a with a truck. I was quite pleased there. I also built it in Starlight Drive in quite some put because I just had nowhere else to build it that had enough flat ground. Where the battle bus was in Sanctuary is actually now a little trailer because that's where I was going to build it. But it still looks cool. And I might just move it somewhere or something. I don't know, it looks nice. I, want, I just wanted to make one again, really, really. That was the reason. So yes, but I'm, I'm quite I'm quite pleased with how this how this one worked out. Also, incidentally, you, you'll see that train in the background there. I need to make a train build at some point soon. I, I keep looking at it, I'm like, oh yeah. It's basically in the USO mod somewhere. It's in the vehicles tab somewhere. I think it's actually just under trains, actually. <laughs> I think there is actually a trains tab. It's in there, and I need to make a giant... You're, when I pull back, you'll see it. It's a massive train. So you can just see it. It's, but the bus is rudely, rudely in the way. But yes, I hope you guys like this one. Incidentally, I hurt my elbow making this build. So my arm hurts right now. I don't know how I've done it. Just, you know, crap, fuck me, right? But basically, while making this build... It took me about two hours, no, two, three hours, just me screwing around, redoing things, and then it's about an hour's worth of recording. And I've now hurt my elbow doing that, so yeah. I go to the gym often, didn't hurt my elbow there. Apparently here, had to hurt my elbow, so... I, I don't know how I've hurt my elbow. <laughs> it really hurts. Look, that but train thing. See the train? And then the, to, the, to the left, yeah. That's a train, by the way. It looks awesome when you see the front. Do I see it in the front? There, there we go. Oh, I've ruined it now because I cut the footage. But yeah, basically, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make that train, and it's gonna be grand. So I really hadn't made a build in a few days. I, I don't know why. I had last week with that whole kind of um, doing my Warhammer 40k vids and not liking the fact that I scripted them. So I did my unscripted one, which you should watch. They're quite cool, quite fun, and I'm enjoying getting a little bit better at them, which is grand. But I think that kind of distracted me the entire week, which is why you're getting your every other day videos from now on. Or at least for the next few weeks so I can get back into the rhythm of things. I notice my absences probably more than you do, to be fair. <laughs> so I think kind of settlements wise, I I was I was tempted to actually finish Murkwater actually in this instead of instead of this video, but I wanted to do an actual build build. So I think potentially the next video we might finish Murkwater. I also want to do some new guard towers inspired by that little tour we did of my own sanctuary. I've got loads of things planned. Oh, these are awesome. So see where I am? I mean USO integrated structures I've, I've gone past it now, but it's structures wood. And in the wood tam you could go to reskinned, I think it's um retextured. And basically you get these corrugated steel and different style of metal walls. Not much variation, it's just basically these kind of, I guess, balcony bits, and a normal wall, kind of a half wall, a normal wall, and a doorway, I believe. Um, and they're also reskinned ones in the railings as well, but they're very, very useful. I didn't realize these even were a thing, basically, so these are actually pretty grand, and I'm gonna make good use of this. This is when you've used a tool set for so long, there you go, you get a good look at that train back there. Um, when you've used a tool set for so long, it's, 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 it's awesome just noticing an entire new tab. Now this, uh, I had to, I'm showing you this part. This is the front of the, the war rig, but basically I redo the whole thing. So I just, I had, I had to cut so much footage, people. Because I just kept like redoing bits and tweaking bits and it took ages. It took ages, which is why it's up late. Or up normal time, if, if you've watched my videos a long time. <laughs> So I'm quite pleased with how I do this. I'm quite chuffed. I'm super clever, or rather I just looked at loads of pictures of war rigs from Mad Max and 
deviant art and on Pinterest and thought, right, I'm just going to kind of vaguely do that. It's a mix of the two, really. So I, th I thought this was, I thought this was quite good. So these, uh, that uh, that mesh fence thing is from the fences tab in the chain mail, chain link, not chain mail, chain link fence. Pop that in there. Then we do one of these panels that I've actually got a rug on, but I decided not to rug that one because I don't need to. I don't know why actually I could have just left the rugs on. It doesn't really matter, but oh well. This is, this is, this is super clever. Or, or it's completely superfluous. Either or, really. I mean, it's either clever or a complete waste of time. I don't really, really know. Really, it's it's either or, really. I've gotta, I've gotta do so many, so many builds to do. God damn it. So god damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh. So I'm trying to think. So my starlight, not my starlight. Wasn't it called Sunshine Tidings Co-op? That's the other one I'm doing. I want to do more stuff with that. And I've got a few ideas, so apologies in advance if I do hop back and forth. Oh, I get to see the menu now, so it's all the way in wood, wood, what was it, retextures, metal, and there's loads of different metal pieces as well. But anyway, I've got to do start, um, Sunshine Tidings, but I haven't decided how I'm going to finish it yet, so you might... I know I'm trying to kind of stick to a specific settlement and finish it off, but occasionally I might do what I'm doing now, which is hopping back and forth, just because... I'm whimsical, basically. I, I'm, I'm whimsical. And also, we've still got loads of so I've, I've realised we've still got loads of summons. And if you didn't watch the tour of the old sanctuary, I'm going to be going back and revisiting. Not necessarily building, but maybe doing a video which is basically kind of like a... A collected tours of some of my earlier settlements where I just kind of like quickly go through them and we can kind of just kind of have a reminder of how they looked. Because some people are always... Not everyone's watched them and also it might be interesting to look at them. But we will do those later down the line. So I don't know why I got the idea of doing this. It just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of adding that cab in the front, it just adds a little bit more depth to the front of the bus. And it just looks, oh, it just looks badass. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Looks grand. Also a bit of slow menu openage there. Sorry about that. Thought I'd cut that part out. Evidently not. But it's fine. It's all right. Oh, also, that... I only noticed this literally in the last 15 minutes of recording all this that I've got the defense too low and I'm missing a bed and now I notice it it really bothers me so sorry about that sorry so what I'm doing right here is basis adding a bit more texture so this was looking very very crisp I do make it look nice and skanky or skanky enough I think that it's you know, pleasantly skankish but at the same time I was conscious that it was looking a little bit too crisp it's interesting because the old battle bus, which is yeah, I completely deleted by the way, it doesn't exist anymore. It's mainly because I put that trailer. If you remember my sanctuary, we be built a trailer there instead. But the old battle bus is kind of less complex than this, but it looks scrappier. I don't know. I I I prefer this one. But for ages, while I was decorating, because I spent ages decorating this one. Well, it doesn't look like I did, but I really did. And I, I was like missing something for ages, but I, I, we'll see. Well, we'll see if you like it. I think it looks cool. I kind of wished it would fit somewhere else though. I might actually build one of these somewhere else. I was thinking maybe County Crossing, but it, it's one of those, this is one of those builds you see, you need lots of flat ground. Like initially this was actually at, what was I gonna build this? So I tried building this in Sanctuary, no space. I tried building this in Sunshine Tidings, no space, because it was gonna go near the entrance, so. It was, it was a bit of a, a bit of a pain in the dick, really. A bit of a pain in the dick. So technically this wouldn't drive as well. I'm just pointing out, this this really wouldn't drive. So this is my, um, I mean, it, it would drive, but you know, it's it, it really wouldn't, technically. So this is my uh, figurehead, my ram. I was quite pleased with this. Mainly because I don't, I don't make use of these uh, Rust Devil pieces much. But it's like the statue at the end of the car. And I built a little ram thing, which you'll see in a sec. Quite pleased. Quite chuffed, you could say. Quite chuffed. Spent ages getting these things straight. Also, those settlers, for some reason, don't have jobs. I don't know why. I think... I think... This is a pre-mod settlement. I think so. I think so. So, Starlight Driving is actually one of my favourite settlement builds I've done. And... I... I think... It is a pre-mod salmon, but don't hold me to that. 
Yeah, I think it is. Which goes to show, incidentally, was talking about. I think pretty much. I don't. I think it might be. Anyway, but it goes to show we were talking about. Um, what were we talking about? Last video, I was talking about how, uh, you know, back in the day, our, my structures were kind of quite basic, and it, it wasn't necessarily mods that made them the way they are. Because this is a pre-mod settlement, and you know, go back and just quickly just Google search Starlight Driving, you'll find this build, and it is one of my favourite tours I've ever done because it looks like. What was I using example? It looks like a settlement out of Gorkamorka, or something like out of Necromunda, you know, Warhammer 40k, you know, the old skirmish games. And I was really playing, even though there were no mods in this one, I'm thoroughly chuffed with this build. Yeah, no, this was made, this was made before Nuka World drop, if I remember correctly. So I think we just got an, um... Yeah, 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 it was. It was, it was, it was. Because I think it was just after a bit after Volt Tech Workshop. I like my little RAM. Do you like my little RAM? It's a nice little RAM, this. It's a good RAM. Best RAM, yeah? Best RAM. Fantastic. I even put a RAM skull. Look at that. It's a Brahmin skull, not a RAM skull, David. But I put, I put a Brahmin skull on the front as well. And I even put a little human skull as well. He fits perfectly. Wait for it, wait for it. Do, do I show you? I do. Wait for it. I do, I'm not lying. Look at him, look at him. He fits perfectly right in there. <laughs> oh, fantastic. It's It's got a lot of character, this one. I did rush the decoration a little bit in the inside, mainly because my elbow was hurting. So it, it's a bit, well, it's it looks cool on the inside, yeah, but, but it's a bit it's a bit sparse. Could do with more, yeah, could do with more. What am I doing right now? Getting a bit confused, am I? Oh, wait, no, we're adding the... Uh, we're adding the bits and pieces. So, these are from Ramshackle Walls. Oh, by the way, incidentally, you might want to update all of your mods, because, well, one, the game recently updated, so I don't know what that's done. But there are a few in Aslam's, I think, workshop decoration pack, and potentially in his Junk Walls mod, there are a few new bits and pieces. You'll see in the decoration tour, I've, I've kind of deliberately used a couple of them to show them off. But yeah, just as a, as a, as a wee FYI. These, by the way, you probably didn't notice that. You know what's what I did right there? How I rug glitch that. You basically have to have these slightly sinking in. And I like this because it's the perfect, 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 perfect kind of curved shape. Plus, this bitch completely blocks my pillar. But also, because of the shape of the bus, the actual pillar bits on the other side don't sink inside. So it looks really, really cool. So voila, there we go. And I've done two right now. So now the way I wanted to do it, so I wanted it to look like you could, and I'm saying this with sarcastic quotey hands with my one working arm, can get up on the back. But rather than like a complete full ladder, I wanted it to make it look like you had to kind of climb up. You'll see what I mean when 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 I when I when I when I show you when I actually get to that point in the video. But basically, so I'm using this little pillar glitch here to kind of raise this up. So that's the only actual ladder. And that thing there, I, I delete that, so don't worry about that stupid thing there. That was what I was initially going to do. And eventually decided to use one of these catwalks instead. And it looks pretty cool. But you need to rug glitch it, and I do show you how I rug glitch it in a moment. Because basically it's, it's quite a little bit of a, a temperamental thing. So notice what I'm doing. So I'm putting little rugs down the floor. One there like that. And you have to keep moving it on. It's actually two rugs it's on. So there we go. Oh, there we go. It's two rugs. So there we go. And you basically just slide it on. Kind of have to have it quite heavily on. It seemed to be the corner. That was it. Yeah, yeah. So basically you need to connect it to the little corner bits. Like little actual bits at the end. And then you can actually rug glitch in. The reason being is this is like... Unless you actually... I've to use a like, place anywhere or something. But like... It, if you're not using those kind of mods, unless you rug glitch this, it's just impossible to get into any surface. But these little catwalk bits look really, 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 really cool. So I, I like the idea. It's like, and when you're seeing the tour in, in a wee bit, I actually, um, from the custom villa assets mod, there is a, a couple of, I think it's from CVA, there are a couple of like uh, netting from, kind of like from, I think they must be from Far Harbor, that I put on the bottom so it looks like you can just kind of climb up. I was quite pleased with that. I was going to put, like, initially I'd had actually made, like, an actual stairwell, but the thing is, I wanted to kind of at least ostensibly make it look like this thing could drive off. And if it has a stairwell at the back, it looks a little bit silly. 
So actually, it's just this thing. I want to make it like you climb up, basically. Yeah, that, that's that's the whole premise. That's the whole idea. Yeah. Oh, tour in a second. In fact, are you ready? Are you excited? There's, I do loads more decoration, but it, there was, it was too much. <laughs> it was too long. I started this at seven o'clock today, and it's now quarter past twelve. So this, this is what I do in my evenings, and I've hurt my elbow. You dicks. God damn it. You better hit like on that video. Yeah, I've never ever asked that ever in like 300 plus. Hit like because my elbow hurts. Uh, I can't go to the gym tomorrow. <laughs> it's alright, I'll do squats. Do leg day, it's fine. It's alright, just I won't no, lift weights or anything. Wait, me to pop this in there. Alright. And is that everything? I think that's everything. Bosh, so here it is. So I've added like lots of bits. I've had a little bit of railings at the top. And lots of kind of colourful decorations. And you may all notice the extra barbed wire. And as well as those little guard posts to kind of give the illusion their tracks. The barbed wire is from the custom Villa Assets mod. You can just find it. It's in there. And the, the, the guard posts are just, you know, your standard guard posts. Um, I also use the posters of the Commonwealth mod to add a little bit of colour and texture. As you can see, um, sticking a few posters on the railings. Do you like my little netting thing as well? So you can you can actually jump up there if you but you have to go at the front but it's to, to make it look like you hoist yourself up. But it looks very cool. Incidentally, the posters of the Commonwealth mod update that as well. So it's cool stuff. But yes, hope you guys like that. So the decorations quite sparse inside, but there's some like new bits I wanted to show off. Um, my arm was hurting and I didn't know how to decorate it. Um, as always, follow me on Twitter at NoResponse. I'm a new video up soon. I've got the 40k, the other Space Wars video coming up soon. So that'll be the law of Neiman Russ and the kind of Horus Heresy stroke, also Great Crusade lore, and also more Fallout builds. So look forward to them. You guys enjoy the rest of your week. Take care.